Hello my dear students. Welcome back to your English class. I hope you all are fine and staying at home safely. Right no? So students, today we will start a new chapter from your English grammar book that is chapter number 8 articles. I know you all all know it but we will today discuss this chapter in a bit detail. Now chapter 8 articles. Now, students, you all know that there are only three articles in English. They are A, AN and THE. Now, let us know these articles through the following diagram, which is given on this page. Articles, indefinite articles and definite article. Now, indefinite articles are of two types, A and AN. Definite article is only of one type, that is THE. Like most of the adjectives, articles come before nouns. Now, we have to learn how to use these three little words. Example, a boy, an orange, the Ganges. Now, the articles a, an and the are determiners. Used before nouns and sometimes adjectives. Okay, students. A comes before Singular nouns that begin with a consonant sound. Like for example, a rat, a unit, a xylophone. Now students, A is used when, let us know this. First point, all these nouns are common nouns. A is used when all these nouns are common nouns. All of them are in singular number. And all of them begin with the consonant sound. Students, be very clear with this. Okay? So, we use A before words beginning with a consonant sound. Now, let's take some examples. A bat, a cat, a tree. Now, students, one important thing which we have to keep in mind. A consonant is a speech sound. That is not a vowel sound. That is not a vowel. Okay. It also refers to letters of the alphabet that represent these sounds. Z, B, T, G and H are all consonants. Consonants are all the non-vowel sounds or their corresponding letters A, E, I, U, U and sometimes Y are not consonants. Now students... And comes before singular nouns that begin with a vowel sound or a mute H. Now let's take up some examples. An adult, an x-ray, an heiress. Okay students. Now E or an are indefinite articles. E or an are used to speak of someone or something for the first time. And a or an are used with a noun in general. Now students, please keep these things in mind. Okay? Now we will take up an example. We have a test tomorrow. Now here a is placed before the word test. Now students, an is used when? Let us know this. All these nouns are common nouns. All of them are in singular number. All of them begin with a vowel sound. So we use an before words beginning with a vowel sound. Therefore we say an R, an eagle, etc. Uses of A and an. Let us know this. We use an before R and honest. When we pronounce these words, H remains silent. We use the article AN with the second letter of the word, which is O. As O is a vowel, we use AN before R and honest. Example, Gita is an R late. Second point, we also use A before words beginning with the consonant U and E. Consider the word university. We read you in university as you. Y-double-O. Therefore, we use A before university. 
we do not use the article and before the words useful, uniform and European. Articles A and N are used before countable nouns only. We use A before the word Y-E-A-R, year, because it begins with the sound Y-E and not the vowel sound E. Okay, students? Now, students, let's come to the rules for using articles A or N. We will know about these rules also. Okay? Now, let's start. A must be used before words which begin with a vowel symbol pronounced with the same sound as the Y or a W. Like sound. Example, a euro, a unicycle, a university, etc. Now, we will know these rules point-wise students. So, the first point I explained. Now, let's go to the next point or point number two. Sometimes an is found before words beginning with the letter H. For example, an R, an honor, an air, etc. I had discussed it before. Third point, we use an before abbreviations that begin with a vowel sound. Example, an MA an MSc, an MBBS. Fourth point which we have to keep in mind. A or an must be used before a singular noun standing for things that can be counted. Example, a chair, a bottle, an umbrella, etc. Fifth point, a or an must be used before the names of professions. Example, a director, an editor, a teacher, etc. Sixth point, when you mean a typical example, use a or an. Let's take an example. A cat drinks milk. Seventh point, the word such plus a or an plus noun or such plus a or an plus adjective plus noun rare etc. Eighth point the following word has an indefinite article like so plus adjective plus a or an plus noun. Now let's take an example so Boring, a book, etc. Okay, students. Now, students, let's know point number nine. Few and little are negative in meaning. A few and a little are positive and mean some. Example, he is young and has little experience of life. Tenth point. In its original numerical sense of one. Like for example, not a word was said. Second example, 12 inches make a foot. Eleventh point, a and one thing or person. Like for example, she works in a hospital. I have got a puppy. Twelfth and the last point which we have to keep in mind in order to use A or an that is we use A or an when we say what a thing or a person is. Like for example, Coca-Cola is a beverage. A dog is a domestic animal. Now students, let's come to the definite article the. The is a definite article used to point out a noun. Now, the definite article the indicates that the noun that follows refers to something known to the speaker and the hearer. For example, when, we, when someone says, I am going to wash the car, the speaker assumes that the hearers know which car he is talking about. Obviously, that's why the is used. In contrast to it, 
I am going to wash a car. Here the speaker or the hearer both are not clear which car will be washed. Now students, let's know the uses of the definite article. This also we will know point wise. We use the to refer to something that has already been mentioned. A cook met a carpenter at the fair. The carpenter called the cook a crook. A painter had a black cat. The painter loved the cat very much. I hope you have understood the example. Second point. The is used when we specify with further description what we are talking about. Yes, let's take the example in the book. Shoma bought the box with a green lid. Now, here, which box Shoma bought? More description is given with a green lid. Now, the third point, the is used when the situation or context makes it clear what is being spoken about. Let's take some examples. There are some mangoes in the fridge. Now, the sp speaker as well as the hearer both know there is a fridge. Why don't you turn on the fan? Now, here the speaker and the hearer know which fan is to be turned on. Fourth point, we use the when we are talking about something that is unique or the only one of its kind. Like, can you give some examples which are unique things on earth? Yes, the moon, the sun, the sky, the world. Fifth point, we use the with superlative forms. Like, for example, Harish is the most successful tennis player. Team 3 completed their round the fastest. Sixth point, the is used with adjectives like first, last, only, sole, etc. Like for example, the first man to climb Mount Everest, the only dinosaur fossil found in Assam, the sole survivor of the plane crash. Seventh point which we have to keep in mind, the is used with expressions like some of, a few, none of, most of, etc. Like some of the travelers, a few of the parrots. Eight point. The has a generic use to refer to all examples of something. Like the lion tailed macaques is a rare monkey. The reference is here to all lion tailed macaques. Next example, the goalkeeper is an important part of a team. Here the reference is to all the goalkeepers in general. Ninth point, we use the with adjectives to make them nouns. The poor, that is the poor people, the talented, the talented ones. Tenth point, the is used with the names of some geographical areas, rivers, mountain ranges and oceans the Caribbean, the Sahara, etc. Now students, uh, there are some more examples like the Nile, the Himalayas, the Pacific Ocean. All these points we have to keep in mind in order to use the definite article the. I hope you are all clear with the rules which we have to keep in mind. Okay students, now the is used before the name of Famous buildings, example, the Red Fort, rivers and mountain ranges, example, the Hooghly, holy books and newspapers, example, the Bible, the celestial objects, example, the moon, the stars, the sky, the sun, the earth. Now, the uh, is sometimes used to indicate a class or a kind of anything. Like, for example, the camel is the ship of the desert. Now, students, when we introduce a person or thing for the first time, then we use a or an. But when we speak about that same person or thing again, we use the. Like, for example, I have a necklace. The necklace is made of gold. 
okay students i hope i am clear with the example now we never use the before names of persons example the rita is a sweet girl this is incorrect sentence instead of it we can write rita is a sweet girl okay students so now students let's come to another topic in this chapter which is also very important and that topic is when to use no article that is a very important topic there are some points which we have to keep in mind let's know the points now the first point to talk about things in general example milk is good for you to talk about sports and games example let's go and play basketball third point before the names of countries example japan france italy etc except the uk the us etc fourth point before the name of a language example we are learning english fifth point before the names of railway stations when they are also place names like uh sixth point after this before the names of meals example they invited some friends to dinner and seven point which we have to keep in mind before noun plus number example the laboratory is in room 6 on the third floor now students using no article or the zero article indicates indefinite meaning now the list below tells when not to use any article now let's know the list we use no article when there are other words like this that my his another etc okay students take some example this house my boat now the second point no article is used when we talk about abstract ideas that are uncountable like what type of abstract ideas example knowledge is power children get care and love from their teachers third point we don't use articles with uncountable nouns when we are talking about something in general like do you like music we don't write do you like the music this is wrong second example ask ajay to buy rice from the store we don't write ask ajay to buy the rice from the store i hope this is clear students now the fourth point we don't use articles when talking about things in general using plural nouns bikers must wear helmets we don't write the bikers must wear the helmets fifth point which we have to keep in mind no article is used before people's names anil reshma we don't write the anil or an anil we don't write the reshma or a reshma now here we have to keep in mind one more thing students however it is possible to use the with people's names when there are many people of the same name and we are referring to just one of them like for example this is the anil i told you about okay students now the last point which we have to keep in mind where we generally we don't use article we don't use articles with sports academic subjects and games like for example roger is good at tennis but terrible at chess for example i like physics but not chemistry now articles in fixed expressions some common fixed expressions contain articles like all the milk has turned sour both the carpenters were absent get me a few paper clips please a lot of water was wasted by the boys etc some common fixed expressions do not contain articles like by car by train by air on foot etc now students i hope the chapter is clear to you i have tried to explain it in all detail 
please go through the chapter and then listen to this explanation the chapter will be clear to you we will again meet in the next class until then goodbye everyone stay at home and be safe thank you everyone